Hey y'all, today I'm going to be sharing what I've been picking up to resell online. I went to Goodwill and y'all, I didn't even plan on thrifting this day, but I found so much stuff. I spent like three hours at Goodwill, so I'm going to show you what I got there. Tons of Bolo brands. I'm also going to show you I have three packages that came in from some whatnot purchases and I do plan on reselling them, so I'm going to show you that as well at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and start with my Goodwill haul. I was so excited to find this. This is a Bolo brand and I found it new with tags. So this is Acris and then here is the price tag. And I'm gonna show you how much it retailed for. This is sold at Nordstrom. Here's the tag. This was retailing for $300 and it's just a really pretty maroon shirt. Um, it has these grommets right here at the front, some cutout action, and it has a zip down the back. Uh, even though this may seem like kind of like a basic piece, I'm still going to list it for $70. I think this one is great for fall. I did leave all of the Goodwill tags on so you can see I paid $5.50 for this. Here's another Bolo brand. Make sure you familiarize yourself with this tag. It is Bryn Walker, and this line is known for their linen pieces. If you list something, definitely use the word lag and look. So this is just a tunic top. It has three quarter inch sleeves, and it also has some slits here on the side. Um, so overall, it kind of just looks like a basic piece, maybe like on a hanger in a thrift store, you wouldn't think much of it, but I should be able to get at least $50 for this. And this one was just $5.50 as well. I've never sold this brand before, but whenever I looked it up, it seems like this brand is known for their cottage court dresses. This definitely is something that I'm gonna use the word cottage core. Um, it's just a yellow floral dress, and it does have a ton of embroidery on the sleeve um, right here at the neckline. And the brand is April Cornell. Um, I have never picked this brand up, like I said, so I have no experience with it. But after looking at comps, I think I'm going to start this around $70. I did pay up for this one. This was $7.50. Uh, but I think if I can get the $70, it will definitely be worth the investment. This does have pockets, and it goes about knee length. So I was excited to find this. This next piece is men's, but you can also find this brand in the women's. Here's the logo. That's what you want to look for right here. I've sold this brand quite a few times. The jackets do the best. Uh, once I sold a jacket pre-owned for $150. So definitely keep your eyes out for Arcteryx. There is how you spell it. And this is just a simple piece. I'm still going to start this one at $50. It's just a men's short sleeve checkered button up. It does have all the buttons. I just unbuttoned it so you could see the brand logo. But yeah, if you ever see this, definitely pick it up. Uh, my store was charging $5.50. I will tell you our prices have definitely gone up at our Goodwill, uh, but they're still probably some of the cheapest in the nation. So still not complaining. I love to sell silk and I also love this brand. This is Soft Surroundings. Um, this is 100% silk and it's a 1X. There's the tag if you've never seen Soft Surroundings. Um, this is flawed, however, I think I can get the spot out. This is just a cream long sleeve. It has the ruffle in the front blouse. And the flaw is actually on the front of the shirt. If you can see, it is right here. Uh, I am going to try to get that out. And it's going to be kind of hard to see on camera, but there is a little stain there. Um, that was the only one I saw. Um, but even if it's flawed, I think I can still get a good amount for it. It also has pretty little sleeve details. And I paid $5.50 for this one. Um, I'm, if I can get the stain out, I want to start it at 50. If I can't, maybe I'll start it at 40. Uh, but yeah, I cannot leave silk soft surroundings behind. I think this will do great. Love to sell silk. Also love to sell cashmere. And this is actually 100% cashmere by Saks Fifth Avenue. There's the tag right there, size large. I think a piece like this is going to do great. Um, I am filming this at probably the middle of September 2022. So definitely start listing your warmer pieces. 
This is cashmere. I did look it over for holes. I didn't see any. Um, hopefully I don't find any when I list it. I'm going to start this one at 50. Land's End is a brand I have a 100% sell-through rate with, and I found a new it tags piece. This is a 100% wool skirt, and I will show you the retail price on this. This is probably like knee length. It looks like it was $70, then marked down to $50. And it's a great size. It's a size 18. So between it being wool, between it being new at tags, and a brand I left to sell, I had to pick it up, and this was $5.50. I couldn't leave this behind because it just always sells, but I did make a mistake. I did not look at the price tag. They marked this one up for whatever reason. Uh, it's Chico's Travelers. And this is actually a shirt, but they marked it as a dress, and they charged me $7.50 for this one. Uh, and, I mean, it's a longer tunic, tunic length, um, but it's definitely not a dress, so I wish I would have paid attention. Um, it is kind of like a gold color. And it has this animal print. Um, so even though I did pay way more than I thought I was paying, um, that was my fault. Didn't look at, didn't pay attention. It has like that faux wrap detail. I bet you I can still get at least $30. And Chico's Travelers does sell very quickly for me. So still not mad about it. Um, I don't know if I would have picked it up. If it was seven dollars fifty cents i've been thinking about that whether or not i still would have picked this up but nonetheless i have it here at my home so i'm still going to list it if you ever see chico's travelers highly recommend you try it out i did get something for myself at goodwill uh some of y'all say you like to see what i pick up for myself this is just a bodysuit but it has a turtleneck um i used to have a spanx like turtleneck bodysuit but it was sleeveless and kind of like defeats the purpose right so when I found this, I was super excited, and this was just $5.50. Okay, that's what I bought to resell from Goodwill. And now I'm going to open up my recent whatnot purchases. I just want to remind y'all, I do go live every Friday, 5 p.m. Central Time on whatnot, and this week will be a 2 to $5 sweater sale. I'm going to have the promo video out probably tomorrow, but I have a lot of fun sweaters that are going to go for super cheap. And as always, I'm going to have a giveaway and you don't have to purchase anything to be entered to win the giveaway. I'd love to hang out with you and chat for you for about an hour Friday. So make sure you tune in. Let me show you what I've been, what I've been buying. So this first one is from a YouTuber. Her name is Letitia. And here's my invoice. So I paid $3 for this and I won a giveaway. So here's what I purchased. This is how it came wrapped. Okay, so here was my giveaway. It was just a pretty gold necklace, new in the package. So thank you so much, Letitia. Oh, it actually said it's a headband. I thought this was a necklace. So it looks like you can wrap this around your head. I bet that's fun. So whenever you win a giveaway, you do get discounted shipping. Um, so I hardly paid anything for this. And it is new with tags. Victoria's Secret. And it looks like it retailed for $30. And this is just a really fun tie-dye t-shirt short sleeve so i'm probably going to list this around twenty dollars all right here's my next package and this is for my friend zoe she also has a youtube channel i bought this skirt hoping and praying it would fit me but i'm going to keep the expectations low because I don't think it's going to. So this is how my package came. All right, so this is just Athleta, and it's an extra small. Um, I may be able to fit this. I'm going to try it on after the video, and maybe I'll pop up on the screen whether or not it fit me. That way, if you're interested, maybe you can purchase it if it doesn't work out for me. But I did get this hoping it would fit me. I really liked the side ruching right here. I thought that was super cute. And it is a skort. Um, if it doesn't work out, I'll probably start this around $25. But here's hoping I can wear it. And here's the last package. I purchased this from Amy over at Crazy Resale Lady. And she has some really good stuff for good deals. So let me show you what I got. All right, here's my invoice. You can see I just paid $5. And she left me a nice note. This is how my item came. This feels so soft. So... 
I got this for quite a few reasons. Um, so this is 41 Hawthorne, size small. So there's the inside brand tag. But I got it because it was brand new. And I really do believe people love brand new 41 with Hawthorne and will pay up. So here's the tag right here. And let me tell you what the material is because that was a big seller for me. So this has 7% Angora rabbit hair. So between it being rabbit hair and new with tags, I thought it was a safe bet. And how fun is this? I think this is a really trendy piece. So it's gray and it has like this orange kind of like coral looking square color block action. I'm probably going to start this at least at $40, and I'm pretty confident I will get it. I think this is a great piece going into fall, or if someone's buying it as a gift, it's new with tags. I am definitely trying to get more new with tags in my store. With the holidays coming up, you know, if you sell pre-owned items online, um, the holidays can actually be a slow time for you because people are looking to buy new items uh, for gifts. So love to keep new with tag items in the store. Uh, I'm going to look at the style to make sure I can get at least 40. I may be able to get more, but yeah, I thought this was so precious. So for $5, you know, I had to grab it. All right, y'all. So that is what I've picked up recently at Goodwill and on Whatnot. Uh, if you've never shopped on Whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. You get $10 and then I also get $10 when you make a purchase and that will go into me buying more inventory for my business. So thank you so much to anyone who uses that link. I do have a quick announcement. Um, I'm sure you're going to see future videos on this. I decided to join Flip um, and test it out. I'm probably only going to get one box just to see if I like it. I've always said I will never do consignment just mainly because I don't want to work with other people. And that's just me being like 100% honest and transparent with y'all. So uh, doing consignment, taking inventory and selling it for other people just hasn't really been something I've been interested in in the past like three years I've been doing this. However, I'm interested in it now. Um, I just saw my friend Heather over at the Canary Closet. I think today, this morning, the day you're watching this video, she posted a video of what she got. Y'all, she got some great brands. And I thought to myself, man, I would love to get some of that for free to sell, even if I only get like 50% or whatever it is, whatever my cut is of the profits. I think it would be worth my time. So stay tuned. I just applied today. So hopefully I will hear back in the next few days. And soon you'll be seeing some flip unboxings. And I'm going to tell you all about my experience, uh, good or bad. We're going to find out. Let me know. I would love to know from you guys. Have you ever tried that platform before? flip. I don't know. Let me know. This is all new to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this thrift haul and I will see y'all in just a couple days for a funny video. Bye y'all.